Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, today we are going to see how to host an Angular application in AWS. Mm, first of all, we need an Angular application and then we are going to use CloudFront for content delivery network. And then we are going to register the domain using AWS Route 53. And then we are going to secure the site using Certificate Manager with, by generating the SSL certificate. And finally, we are going to host the application using AWS S3 bucket and then we are going to publish that so these are all the components we are going to use to host a uh, static website in AWS let's start with creating S3 bucket go to S3 bucket and create new bucket I'm gonna name it as C Venture Hyphen Tekken Games. Yes, scroll down, unblock all public access and acknowledge that. And that's it. Create bucket. So we have created the bucket now and enable the static web hosting in the properties. Use this bucket to host the website and give the index.html. Yep. Sorry for the typo. HTML. Yep. And save this. Yeah, it is saved now. Next, go to permission and go to bucket policy. We need to generate a bucket policy to access this publicly. So we can generate the policy using the policy generator. Uh, select the S3 bucket policy and select the action. We are going to select get object. Get object principle uh, everything that is star and we are going to give the ar and we, we will have to change the bucket name to our bucket name whatever we have created c venture tech and games yeah add statement and generate policy now generate yeah policy has been generated i'm i'm just gonna change the sid to allow public read access and copy this and we will have to paste this in the bucket policy here and save it yeah everything is right yeah just save it yeah, it is saved and now uh, I, ha I have already created the angular application and I have already built it um, we will have to add one more script over here to push that angular application to uh, s3 bucket so we are going to add that AWS deploy this is the command we are going to use to push the application to S3 bucket. Okay. <coughs> this is the command AWS S3 sync dist. You will have to change the dist to your uh, application name. If you go to dist folder, you can see that minus c venture so i'm just changing it and s3 bucket is the bucket we have created earlier c venture taken games yeah yeah once this is done um we will have to create a, a user to um so that we can use that user to push the application to um, s3 
just add the user in the IAM we're going to give pro programmatic access and attach the administrator access policy yeah administrator access create user yeah yeah user has been created now um, the access key and the secret key will be generated uh, you can get the uh, get it from the csv file <coughs> yeah now i got that i'll move it to other screen we are going to use this credential to configure the aws cli account so aws configure it is going to ask the access key id secret key id and the region you can give that so your account will be configured i have already given that so you can also give that once you get the mm, record details yeah now i'm going to navigate to the angular application folder now this is where my application is there so i'm going to build and then uh, i'm going to push that application into our s3 bucket we have created in the aws account this is the command ng build and npm run aws deploy this is the command we have added in the uh, package.json this will build and deploy it into the s3 bucket it's gonna take some time this is not the production build so it'll take some yeah now it has been deployed so if you go to the bucket now and go to the static web hosting go to properties static web hosting and click on the endpoint so the application will be hosted in the s3 bucket now <coughs> if you see it's not our uh, secured it is just a sample application which will show my youtube channel and the link over there nothing fancy in that useless website so we have pushed our application to s3 now we are going to create the domain for that go to route 53 and register domain If you see the bunch of dot com dot net bunch of option will be available you can select anyone I'm going to select the dot com and C venture is not available so I'm gonna check Tekken games yeah chicken games is available so we can get that I'm gonna give a hyphen over here see when your hyphen Tekken games yeah this is available now so add to cart and you can register for whatever the year you want I'm gonna go with one year and continue uh, it's gonna ask your personal details you can fill up and continue that i have given that and i'm going to complete order yeah once it is completed you will get an email now yeah i got the email mm. go to domain now uh, if you see the registration is still in progress so it it's gonna take some time you can check that later Uh, now we are going to 
create the ssl certificate go to um, certificate manager and provide the the registered domain again here whatever the uh, domain we have registered and get the certificate for that so that our site will be secured users will be scared to visit a non-secured sites right so we are going to make it secure by getting the ssl certificate yeah oh it is still pending validation um the status will be verified once i can go to route 53 you will have to check whether the same uh, certificate c name is mapped to the registration uh, the registered domain which we have in the uh, route 53 we have c venture f1 taken games right if you see the um, c name this um, it should match to our certificate which we have created this 2a5 and ec7 uh, this is the one the map to this um domain so let's go and verify whether the this is the certificate we have um registered or not go to certificate manager or you will have to go to virginia the certificate will be available only in the virginia region not in uh, other region you will have to create your certificate in virginia region please make sure that yeah now go to certificate and if you see the name and the value is matching so we have um, mapped the right certificate to the right uh, custom domain the domain name yeah now what we are going to um, use the cloud front to make it available in the CDN we are going to create a distribution get started it's a web so select the web uh, to get the origin or domain name you will have to go to s3 again uh, go to see venture go to properties go to static web hosting and just select this url the endpoint without http and give that name here uh, the s3 bucket will be listed down don't select that make sure you give that and we are going to view our protocol policy enable and that's it i guess okay we will have to select the custom uh, ssl certificate which we have created in the acm yeah and we will have to provide the domain name here where yeah alternate domain names just provide the domain name here seventh hyphen taken games dot com yeah create distribution now yeah we have created the distribution now uh, it is still in progress it will take some time so we can check that later it will be available after some time now um we have created um ssl certification the domain and we will have to do one more mapping here if you go to route 53 and check out domain uh, the cloud front is not mapped yet here so we will have to add that as well mm -hmm. so we are going to create one more record and it's gonna be a simple routing next and if you see all those records are available now so create one more record and choose the value route tra traffic to cloud front yeah if you see cloud front is available just select and select the region 
and this is a leave it as it is and select the cloud front url so now this record has been created that's it and i think we have created our we have hosted our website in aws using s3 cloud front um the route 53 and the certificate manager yeah go to that url now let me open it in cognito yes our site is available now so this is how we ha we will have to uh, host our website in aws so i think uh, it is so helpful for you guys um if it is useful please like and subscribe thank you